So today I'm going to recreate the look that I wore in my drugstore favorites video. This was highly requested, so it's just basically a kind of sultry, dramatic sunset look. And I think the colors really complement any eye color, whether you have brown eyes, blue, green, hazel, anything. So um, uh, just peachy cheeks and uh, peachy lips, kind of peachy frosty lips, and that's all there is to it. So let's get started. Now for foundation, I'm going to use my Chanel Perfection Lumiere, and I'm just going to dot that. Just one pump. Actually, that wasn't even a full pump. I just used a little bit. So just dot, dot. It's a little too much there. Dot. So once I have that dotted around, I'm kind of messy today. I'm going to take my Sedona Lace Midnight Lace Kabuki brush, and I'm in love with this thing. It is so awesome. So I'm just going to buff this in, and it buffs out everything really fast. It's a synthetic bristle brush, so you can use it with cream products, liquid foundations, and it's nice and dense, so it buffs it out fast. And it's pink. I need to take a little of that down my neck too, don't I? I'm a little bit pale on the neck. Just gonna stipple that around and buff it out. So that is my new favorite Kabuki. Next, I'm gonna take my under eye concealer. I'm using my Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer in Natural, and I'm gonna take that on my one of my crown brushes. It's just a little flat brush. Cover up those dark circles. I'm going to hold off on the contour, bronzer, and blush. We'll do that at the end. I'm going to move on to getting some makeup onto these naked clam eyes. That's what I call it. I mean, they're just like the little clams out of their shells, and they need some makeup. So let's go ahead and get my primer here. I'm going to use Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I'm going to zoom in a little, not too much, because I know last time I was zoomed in a little too much, and I don't want to be, like, all up in your face, so. Come on. There we go. Oh, okay. So, is that too close? Maybe a little. Let me scoot back a little bit. We'll get this. Okay, that might be okay. All right, so I'm using six NYX eyeshadows. The first, um, I'm just going to show you these first. This is Eggplant, so you know which ones I'm using. This is Copper. Tropical, Black, Sahara, and Aloha. And I think we are ready to go. So before I apply the eyeshadows, I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And the NYX Jumbo Pencils are really good for making your eyeshadows pop even more, but you don't want creasing, so you do need to make sure you blend it out to a nice thin layer. And it's going to make your eyeshadow pop even more than just using a primer alone. I'm going to start with eggplant, and I'm going to take that on my crown brush. This is just a flat shader brush. So I'm taking that all over my lid. Right into the crease and stopping there. Once I have the general shape I want, I'm going to take copper. And I'm going to take that on another crown brush. This is this one is from their Brush Away Cancer line, and this is just their shadow brush. And I'm going to tap this right on the line where I left off with that eggplant. I'm not going to bring it up too high because I'm going to be using a different color above this. And above copper, I'm going to use this tropical, and I'm going to take that on my Sony Kashuk crease brush. And I'm just going to lightly kind of feather that on and start blending out that line. Next, I'm going to do my brow highlight, and I'm taking Sahara. And I'm going to take that on my e.l.f. defining brush. I'm 
And then we're just going to wipe off my Sony Kasha crease brush and blend out a little more. Since this is going to be kind of a dramatic look, I'm going to brighten up my inner tear duct. I'm using Aloha, and this is my e.l.f. defining brush. For my lower lash line, I'm using Eggplant again. I'm going to take that on my Sephora smudge brush, just on the tip, and just place that right at the root of the lashes. Then I'm going to take Copper and just get that on the tip and just kind of right where I left off with that eggplant I'm just gonna dust right along that lower edge I'm gonna take my NYX or NYX Stila eye cudgel in onyx and I'm just gonna dot and feather that right at my lash line And I'm going to blend that out with my Essence of Beauty small crease brush. So I've really brought that eyeliner out because I like to kind of elongate my eyes that way. Um, next I'm going to get my black, NYX Black Eyeshadow. And I'm going to take that on my MAC 239 brush. We're just going to go ahead and kind of pat this in our outer V area. And I'm going to pat it over the, eye sh or the eyeliner. So it's going to set the eyeliner and I'm just going to kind of bring it up into the outer V for a little more drama. To balance that out, I'm just adding a little more of the eggplant along my lower lash line. Just so we don't have like a really heavy top lid and then like a naked bottom lid bottom lid that's weird <laughs> bottom lash line all right now for mascara and lashes so for mascara I'm gonna use my L'Oreal voluminous carbon black before I apply mascara to my lower lash line I want to do my waterline I forgot um, I think in the drugstore favorites video I was using Mac chromographic pencil in NC15 NW20, but I don't, I don't know if I was quite happy with that look. Instead, I'm going to switch to Urban Decay Rockstar. And that's kind of a nice eggplant color, so that'll, that'll work well with this look. Okay, now I'm just going to apply mascara to my lower lash line, and then we're going to move on to lashes. Alright, for false lashes, I am going to use my Ardell Wispies and my Duo Lash Adhesive, which actually I've heard that Revlon has a, I guess it's a new lash glue out, which I haven't got to try yet, but I'm, as soon as I finish this, I'm definitely going to look into that, because I guess it has like a little, it's like a little tube with a little like brush, so it's like easier application. By the way, I'm not good at doing the three minute tutorials. I don't know if I can ever do that. I don't know how people do that. Gosh, this other people is so much better at doing tutorials than me. But where are my tweezers? Oh, <laughs> we don't want we don't want that all that eye, do we? Alright, my camera was just about to die so I had to plug it in and everything looks so much brighter. I wonder if I should leave it plugged in all the time. I don't know. I gotta put lip stuff on because my lips are just so dry right now. Okay, um, so we are done with eyes and we are moving on to face. So for face, I'm trying to remember what I used. I think I have everything here. So I know I used my Wet n Wild Color Icon in Bikini Contest to contour 
And I'm going to do that with my crown brush. This is just an angled kind of fluffy brush. So I'm just going to tap into that. And you got to use these, you got to be really gentle because they can get a little powdery. Tap that off. And you need a real light hand because these are pigmented. Like a little along the hairline. For bronzer, I'm using my Milani Baked Bronzer, and this is in Soleil. And I know some of you are like, what's the difference between contour and bronzer? Well, contour, I just follow like the three and the E kind of pattern, and I just keep it like the hollows of my cheeks and around the hairline and a little bit on the jawline sometimes. Um, bronzer, I just do it kind of like on the lower parts of the cheekbone, but not in the hollows. So it basically goes just above my contour. So I'm going to take that on one of my crown brushes. This is just an angled brush. So I'm just going to dip into that lightly. This has a little bit of fine gold sparkle to it, so I don't want that as a contour, you know, you want to go, it's just to give a little extra kind of bronzing effect. For highlight, I'm using my Hard Candy blush, and this is in Pinup, and it's really light. It's kind of like a champagne color, so it works as a perfect highlight. Oh, and I'm using my Costco, um, yeah, my Costco fluffy powder eye brush. And then for blush, I'm using my Sony Kashuk blush in Sunset. I'm gonna take that on my crown brush. This is just um kind of like a flat, fluffy brush. I'm just kind of blending that back into my bronzer. Oh, it looks really bright on camera right now. But in real life, it, it's not. Alright, for lips, I'm using my CoverGirl Lip Perfection Pencil, and this is in Seduce. And for lipstick, I'm using my Revlon Super Lustrous. I've got my little napkin here. I don't know what I'm doing with that. I've got my Revlon Super Lustrous lipstick, and this is in Apricot Fantasy. So I just realized I forgot to do brows, so I'm using my MAC Brow Pencil in Fling. And I'm just going to brush that out with my little crown spoolie. Okay, so this is the finished look. We have our kind of sultry, dramatic sunset eye, um, really peachy cheeks. I swear it's not that bright. It looks so bright on my camera right now, but in real life, it's it's not that bright. Um, I've got my kind of nude peach frosty lip, and yeah, that's the look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.